For e, we've got x squared e to the y dy by dx. So I'm thinking I'm going to be differentiating. I mean, my guess is I'm going to be differentiating x squared times by e to the y. Um, let's look at the next bit. The next bit is plus 2x e to the y. I think I'm right, aren't I? Because look, the e to the y here differentiates to e to the y dy by the x. The x squared here goes to 2x. Yep, so that's fine. And what does that equal on the right hand side? Just an x. So we've rewritten the question like that. Integrating both sides with respect to x gives us this, and I won't write out that bit there this time, x squared, half x squared, plus c. Um, tidying it up, should we divide both sides by x squared? And then we'll ln both sides. So y equals the ln of a half plus c over x squared. That looks OK. And the last one we got here, we've got 4xy dy by dx um, plus 2y squared equals x squared. Um, what's that going to be then? So that is differentiating. Um, is it just 4x times by y? I'm not sure. Is it 4x times by y or is it? No, it's not 4x times by y. It needs to be a squared, doesn't it? I need a y squared there, so I'm going to change that number there. How does that work? Let's see if that works. So 2y squared here, and the x would go to 1. And here I've got 4xy dy, but yeah, that works. Um, x squared. So integrating both sides gives us this, 1 third x cubed plus c. Um, let's divide it all by 2x. And then we'll have to square root it all, won't we? So y equals the square root of 1 sixth x squared plus c over 2x. And I guess we'll need to have a plus or minus outside the square root as well. There's that one.